Welcome back inside the Kyle Corner video blog. The USD men's basketball team drops a heartbreaker in Omaha on Tuesday night by a score of 91-88 to Creighton. How's everybody doing? I'm Jay Elson alongside the voice of USD men's basketball, Joe Van Gore. Joe, uh, it's, it was a, certainly an emotional game, a hard-fought game from start to finish, and we're going to cover it all here over the next few minutes. Let's start the first half, though, because uh, there was a guy that really stood out for USD, and that was Trey Burnett. He puts up 16 points. That was a season high for him in one half and uh, really carried this team throughout that opening 20 minutes, gave USD a 28-25 halftime lead. Well, Coach Smith knew that Creighton was going to put a lot of pressure on USD's three top scorers, you know, mainly Brandon Boss, uh, Tyler Larson, and uh, Casey Kasperbauer. And, you know, really, you know, with the exception of Trey, mm -hmm. not much was going well for the Coyotes uh, in that first half. Second half, you had to figure Creighton was going to make a run at it, was going to start shooting the basketball a little bit better, and that certainly happened as that second half unfolded. Well, up uh, 58 to uh, 49, and the Blue Jays were getting to the free throw line, which they're very, very good at. Mm -hmm. You know, especially Austin Chapman, uh, who uh, really kind of saved the uh, the Blue Jays uh, throughout that second half and toward the end of uh, regulation. But the Coyotes were trading free throws to only go down by two, by three, mm -hmm. by four. Uh, you know, and of course, with just seconds remaining and no timeouts. Coyotes come down the floor in a play that was probably more for Brandon Boss. Tyler Larson took the three, hit it, and uh, sent us into overtime, tied at 65. Uh, wondering why Creighton didn't foul the Coyotes to prevent them from putting up a three. Well, and actually Greg McDermott addressed that very thing in the post-game press conference. He said that traditionally he does not foul in that situation because, to quote him, he has faith in their defense. And, and usually, uh, more often than not anyway, when Creighton has been in that situation, it hasn't come back to burn them. But it did tonight as Trey, as uh, excuse me, Tyler Larson, as you said, steps up, hits that big three-pointer to send it into uh, the first overtime. Creighton comes out, seems to take control in that opening uh, extra session. They go up, I think, five uh, or six points. Seven. In, seven yeah. in that, in that uh, first overtime. But, again, as we've seen all year to this point, uh, the Coyotes just they don't have any quit in them. They play hard from the opening whistle to, the, to that final horn. Uh, and, again, they battle back to force a second overtime. And it was a different hero in the first overtime. Uh, Trey Norris uh, hits the three with 34 seconds remaining. Then the Coyote defense uh, took over. Coach Smith in the postgame talked about the plays that they made down low, you know, especially offensively, but also uh, defensively as really their bigs, you know, they got inside a, a few times, but, uh, you know, toward the end of that uh, first overtime, Coyotes made some key rebounds mm -hmm. to put them in that position. Mm -hmm. Trey Norris hits the three, and then the Coyote defense takes over. Creighton can't convert. We go into a second overtime tied at 76. In that that, that extra, extra frame, uh, should we put it that way, uh, James Milliken stepped up, and Creighton needed a hero, and he was the guy, uh, a guy that had been uh, shooting through some things, uh, hadn't played particularly well at times this season. As uh, McDermott said in the postgame press conference, they'd run him on scout team to just get him some extra shots and, and try to get him out of his funk. Well, he certainly was that. A lot of clutch shots for him, a career-high 23 points. Uh, he he ended up being the difference for Creighton in this one. He certainly did, and of course, uh, you know, it was Creighton's bench. I think they had, what, 54 uh, bench points tonight. Milliken mm -hmm. was a big part uh, of that, along with uh, Kreklo and, uh, and some others as well. Uh, but that kind of shows what kind of team that uh, Greg McDermott has, where, you know, the starting five, probably outside of uh, Chapman, weren't getting much done, but mm -hmm. the bench comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, people got to remember, these are the players that have played in the system for two, maybe three years, were uh, behind, uh, you know, Doug McDermott and three other seniors that uh, graduated and now having their chance to shine. Again, it ends in a 91-88 double overtime loss for USD. Craig Smith said it afterward. The players said it afterward. They're not into moral victories, but at the same time, a lot to be proud of in this performance, in this environment. This was uh, this was an NBA-esque uh, type environment here tonight at the CenturyLink Center in Omaha. Over 16,000 here. I mean, uh, I was talking with uh, Coach Smith, uh, well, one week ago tonight, we're at Cal State Northridge in a 1,200-seat gym that supposedly had uh, 800 people. <laughs> but I thought the uh, the Coyotes really responded to the atmosphere. The first five minutes of the game, uh, you know, Jay, was going to be important where, you know, the crowd, 
Creighton's aggressiveness, the way they play in this building. And I thought the Coyotes responded and then some uh, and quieting this crowd for mm -hmm. much of this game and even into the second half and into the overtimes. And uh, Creighton, to be honest, came out a little bit flat coming off, of course, that emotional win over Nebraska on Sunday. And, and Craig Smith liked that about this matchup coming in. He said even before the season, because win or lose, all the emotion that goes into that game, we could be catching them at the right time. And the Coyotes uh, certainly deserve a lot of credit for the way they played, but Creighton certainly put themselves in the position to maybe lose this game uh, to South Dakota. But in the end, the Blue Jays prevail again, 91 88 in double overtime. The Coyotes fall to 3-7 and seven on the season. It's on to the Pentagon on Saturday night to take on UNLV, another tough test uh, for USD. And uh, we're going to be having that game live on Midco Sports Network. I'll have the call alongside Greg Steeman.